Hey, welcome back to Boxes and Bubble for another spoiler free comic book review. Today we're talking about The Joker Presents a Puzzle Box, published by DC Comics. Written by Matthew Rosenberg, art by Jesus Marino, colors by Ulysses Ariola, and letters by Ferran Delgado. Something interesting about this particular book the cover art is by Chip Zdarsky, whose writing I'm a fan of. Before today, I had no idea he did art too, so I learned something new. So before we jump in, Matthew Rosenberg is one of my favorite writers. The first thing of his that I read was Hawkeye Freefall, which was so hilarious and so much fun. And that's something that's consistent with all his writing. He did a great Thunderbolt miniseries doing the King of Black event, and his Grifter stuff, which started in Future State and is now in Batman and Urban Legends, is always such a good time. He more than deserves a spot on the longer ongoing series in my opinion, but regardless, I'll always look out for the smaller stuff that he's writing. And smaller is what we get with this. It's a pretty short one, but it's definitely worth a read, and of course, as always, it's genuinely funny. The entire book is an interrogation of Joker by two police officers, who are questioning a Joker who seems to have blood all over his suit. They want to know why a whole bunch of Gotham's most well-known villains were at his place for a party. Joker says that he doesn't know, and he didn't think it was wise to ask, but the party got crashed by Batman before he could even finish eating his cake. Those red stains on his suit were actually red frosting. At this point, Joker starts taking obvious and hilarious liberties with his account of events, and I don't want to spoil all the jokes here, but I particularly enjoyed Penguin saying, I'm going to go have a romantic evening with a bird, before being sucked in the face by Robin. One of the officers interrogating him is clearly out of patience at this point, and starts arguing with the other, so they cut right to the chase. There was a notable absence at Joker's party. The missing person is dead. Which Joker doesn't believe until they bring out the crime scene photos. This is my favourite part of the whole book. Joker admires the photos and asks if he can keep them, irritating the officers further. They tell him that they'll only ask once. Who killed- <phone rings> Yeah, that was a Kill Bill reference, well done. As I said at the start of the review, what makes Matthew Rosenberg's stuff so enjoyable is the sense of humour he has combined with the stories that are more than just a vehicle for the jokes. You could write this story straight without any gags, but it just wouldn't be anywhere near as much fun. Personally, I love it when comics get goofy, so I can't wait for more of this one. And that's it for today, but if you're interested in any other books that came out this week, make sure you check out the channel where there are other spoiler-free reviews from the books that came out this week, hot and fresh. Mm -hmm. Just like Grandma used to make. <laughs>